Okay. What's up you guys, it's Nick, and I have not made a video in like three years, I think. Yeah, I think the last time I made a video, I was in college, and I honestly, I can't even remember what it was about. So I'm trying this YouTube thing again, and I wanted to show some of my skincare favorites. I feel like that is a good jumping off point. Because I like skincare, I just got a job back working in beauty, so hot topic for me now. And yeah, I'm, it's a lot of products. I'm kind of looking back at it now and I'm like, oh shit. It's a lot to talk about and I don't even know what to say. <sighs> but I think I'm just going to, I'm gonna try to narrow it down to things that really cleared my skin. So that's another thing. If you wanna look back at my old videos on YouTube, you can see my skin is probably not the best. Um, I'm, I'm happy with like how it is now. I like it. Um, not sponsored, but Curology is literally the shit. And I think these other products kind of helped like clear up my skin too. There's like some masks and treatments and stuff like that and even my cleansers. So I'm gonna show you guys those. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. I can try to answer them as best as I can. And yeah, I guess let's just get into it. Okay, in terms of cleansers, I switch it up morning and night. Um, so I like filming ones um, at night. My all-time favorite one is the SkinCeuticals um, LHA cleanser. I don't even know what LHA stands for, to be honest. Lipohydroxy acids. Um, so it's an exfoliating face wash. They actually reformulated to this. You can see like it's super, super liquidy, which is actually pretty annoying because when you open it, it like leaks everywhere. Um, so besides that, um, I think it actually, they changed the formula so there's no like sulfates or parabens or something like that. Um, but this honestly really, really, really helped with my skin. I worked with someone at a skincare store and they showed me this. Um, and it like foams really gently and I never feel like my skin is um, too stripped. A little bit more than the other one I'll talk about. This definitely I only use a couple times a week. I won't use it every single night. Um, but definitely I've seen it clear my skin and I feel like it helps with redness. It kind of calms my skin too. I try to put in like the name and the price on all these products. Guys, I'm getting used to this again. Uh, but yeah, I really, really like this one. I buy it at Blue Mercury. I live in New York City. I, Blue Mercury is really good, yeah. Um, the other foaming face wash, this one's like seven bucks. You can get it on Amazon. I go to Best Friend in Soho. Um, it's by Cosrx. It's a low pH good morning gel cleanser. I feel like everyone on YouTube uses this, so I don't know how much I have to use, talk about it, I mean. I think it uses willow bark, which I, um, if I know right, it's supposed to be like, a natural salicylic acid. I'm not sure if that's right. Um, but I really do like this one a lot. This one, um, I really like to use every single night because it, while it is a foaming one, it, I never feel stripped when I use this. And I found that really hard in face washes. Like in the morning, I use a CeraVe hydrating cleanser, but their foaming face wash dries my skin out really, really bad. Um, I kind of have oily skin, but it dries out really fast. So I don't know if that means I'm um, combination. Um, but I find this one I can use every single day. It's really gentle and it's supposed to balance your pH so it helps your skin kind of stay balanced and normal, not get too crazy. And yeah, I do, I used to use a ton of Korean Beauty. So, I, and I think Cosrx is my favorite brand of all of those brands. And then yeah, in the mornings I just use a CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser. I, some, I pretty much even use this as like a shaving. Like when I have this on, I shave. Um, but it has three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid. I like that this is just really gentle and in the morning I, I don't sleep with a lot of things on my skin So it's not like I have to wash too much off. I think if you have like a 10 step routine You'd probably want to wash all of that off. I don't so that I find is just enough Okay now talking into all of um, The actives I feel like people I think like actives. Okay. What am I saying? <laughs> I feel like actives are like the powerhouse of your skincare routine, so this is where you really see the difference in it. I, I personally like to keep the rest of my skincare routine really, really simple, like simple moisturizers, simple cleansers, um, oils, like just like one type of oil, not like a mixture of oils, things like that. Um, and then I have like active things um, that do more like targeted things. Well, for me, it's like acne and brightening is what I use them for, and pore reduction. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think the number one thing I'm obsessed with is Curology, not sponsored. I, why would I even say that? <laughs> okay, honestly, I got into Curology only because it was cheaper than getting um, Tretinoin from my doctor with the insurance I had at the time, I don't know. But I really like this, it's, and I actually like it better than getting Tretinoin from my um, dermatologist because Curology pumps it up with more ingredients. Like this has, I'm at um, Tretinoin 0.05, 
and then also has azaleic acid, I can't pronounce that, 5% and niacinamide, 4%. Um, so it's not just like um, tretinoin, so you're doing more benefits for your skin, I feel like. Um, you do have to get it, this is really, really strong, so you really have to get adjusted to it. I like that you can do a free trial online as well. The next two products are from The Ordinary. Everyone's obsessed with The Ordinary. Um, the thing I really like about The Ordinary is because I think I have sensitive skin, um, that you know exactly what you're putting on your skin. Like this, the first thing I'll talk about is niacinamide and zinc, and it's literally like only that. So I don't have to, if my skin freaks out, I know it's like either one of those ingredients and I won't use it anymore. Um, same with the 100% L-Scorbic Acid Powder. Um, this is really, really strong. It's like a powder like that, if you can see. And I mix this in with serums, this serum, a hyaluronic acid serum. I have um, from the Inky List, the Q10 serum, and then I'll apply it. Um, I use this in the morning and then I um, put SPF on after. But these two things, I've honestly, I've only been using this two weeks, but my pores have gone down like crazy, it's insane. And it really helps with my oiliness throughout the day, so I really like that. And then this brightens my skin like crazy, it's insane. Um, you just have to be careful not to like burn your skin. <laughs> okay, the next thing, I think actually after Curology, these pads from Canon Austin, they're the acne treatment pads, 5% glycolic, 2% um, salicyl salicylic acid. Every time I use these, people constantly compliment my skin. Like literally what people will tell me like I'm glowing or things like that, or your skin is so smooth, which is obviously the best feeling in the world. So these are expensive. I think they're like 60 bucks. You can get them at Birchbox along with some of these other products. Um, but these are so amazing. I only use them like maybe two times a week at night. Um, and then I won't use Curology after, but so worth it. The thing, I'm not gonna repurchase these next, this is like my second tub, but I'm gonna try the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toner and see what that's like. I also did find out that glycolic acid apparently like gets unstable really fast, so it's better to have single use packets. But also that's like awful for the environment. Um, so we'll see how that goes. If you've tried the Ordinary one, let me know. Um, I had friends who use it and literally everyone raves about it like crazy. I think it's 5% as well, so I'll probably like it. And then the next two things are just masks. Um, the Bexar of California, this is the clay mask AHA. The thing I really like about this one, especially now that it's going into the fall and um, my skin's getting kind of drier, that it's um, a more gentle clay mask. I think it uses uh, bentonite. It uses actually bentonite and kaolin, um, but it has like aloe and it has chamomile calendula in it. So it, I never feel like uh, overly dry after I use this. Also the AHAs help exfoliate your skin. And I also think that kind of makes this, uh, the mask kind of lighter. I really like using this one in the morning because it will help with like my oiliness throughout the day. I never use clay masks um, at night because I feel like why would I want to draw out oils if I'm just going to go to bed? Oh, the sun. So yeah, if you haven't tried Baxter yet and you do have sensitive skin, I highly recommend it because they don't have fragrance um, and it's a lot of like more natural ingredients, but nothing like overly like um, irritating. Like this one has aloe, witch hazel, calendula, so it's really calming, really amazing, I really like this one. All right, the next one, I'm actually really not super into natural um, skincare. In the past, I've used like things from Lush and stuff like that, and it's really irritating my skin like crazy. Um, that being said, one of the natural brands I really, really like is Youth to the People. Uh, this is like a super food and algae mask. Um, I actually use these together, so where I'm oily, I'll use this in my T-zone, and then I'll use this everywhere else, and like on my neck. Um, and I really like this one. Again, it's really light, um, so I can use it like in the winter still, and it's not gonna dry my skin. But I also feel like it's like a multivitamin for your skin. It's putting like spinach and kale and all that goodness in there. I don't know, I think this one may be more for fun, but I, I still really like it. <laughs> okay, I feel, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. <laughs> So, um, the next thing from The Ordinary I use is just their 100% cold pressed rose hip oil. It's rose hip oil. <laughs> I really like this. I was nervous to try oils. I've been using this probably for like a year now. And again, I think this is one of the uh, um, products that I've seen a huge difference in my skin. Because um, I've kind of incorporated all these uh, products over time, so I kind of know how my skin reacts to each of them. And this one is really amazing for my oiliness. I probably put only like a drop or two during the day, but I pack it on at night. Um, I even use it kind of like as an eye cream. And it's so amazing. I've also heard that this is kind of like a natural retinol. 
So it helps with like brightening and cell turnover and stuff like that. Obviously like more gentle than like retinoin. Um, but this is also really amazing. I never, I always use it and mix it in with my moisturizer. I feel like whenever I put oils on top of my skin, it doesn't matter like the moisturizer I put or the type of oil, it just like never penetrates into my skin. And apparently you can't use, you shouldn't use, <laughs> you shouldn't use oils under moisturizers because there's water in your moisturizer so it won't get into your skin. So I think mixing it is just a very safe bet. <laughs> so I think mixing them is probably just the safer bet. Yeah. Um, the next thing, I haven't used this for too long, but I'm kind of incorporating this into my skincare routine now that it's getting colder again. It's just a thicker moisturizer. Right now I'm using it at night. It's Ursa Major Golden Hour Recovery Cream. Um, again, this is like one of the more natural brands that I like. Um, it's never like irritating my skin or anything like that. But this is definitely a lot more of a thicker cream. Um, it helps with brightening and stuff like that. But right now, you can see, see kind of thick. Um, right now, it's a little bit too thick for me to wear during the day, so I just use it at night. But I feel like on days where I actually spend like more time outside, I'll use it um, just to kind of help with like that windiness. My skin is really irritated and dry when it's super like cold and windy, so I think it's gonna good to like protect my skin. Okay, I'm almost done. The last two things is just um, sunscreen. I'm not. I don't think I'm extremely picky with sunscreen, but I don't. I know I like physical sunscreens more than chemical. Uh, Super Goop is like my all-time favorite um, sun brand. I pretty much like all their sunscreens. This is just the Mineral Sport um, SPF 40 plus plus plus. I actually didn't know that this was PA okay, plus plus plus. Yeah, this is a really nice one. It's usually pretty light. It soaks in right away. Um, although this brand, I've been really obsessed with their sunscreens. I get this at Best Friend again um, in like Soho. Um, it's by Appu, and this is 45. 45 uh, PA++. I usually try to do 50 or plus, but I think, I guess 45 is fine. I, as long as you're putting on sunscreen, I don't think anyone is gonna be mad, right? So yeah, this is a really good one. They also have like a watery one in like a light blue packaging. I think that one's like a chemical and this is their physical. Um, that one is super, super light, so... Did something just fall? The blue one is really light, um, so if you have more oily skin, I would recommend that. Uh, but I, again, I'm, I just prefer physical sunscreens more, so this is a really amazing one. And this is, I think, like 12 bucks on Amazon. I'm not sure. I'll try to. I'll try. To, I'll link all these products down below. Yeah. All right. So that is my current favorite skincare. My favorite skincare products. <laughs> So I'm hoping that this video made sense. If it doesn't, I think maybe it's better if I do like an, a morning skincare routine video and then a nighttime skincare video. You can see how, because a lot of these products actually mix and match and layer in different ways. So let me know if you want like a morning and a nighttime routine. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Let's see how I do on this new video thing. And I'll see you on my next, maybe I'll see you on my next video. We'll see what happens. I don't know. <laughs> All right, bye. Nice.